Hello everybody and welcome back to Arcade Spirits. This one took me a while to edit because I had to do some, I had to learn some new techniques a little bit for editing and stuff. I, so what ended up happening is I use, occasionally use a webcam on Twitch, but I didn't know how to get my face off of the, the VOD for YouTube and I was getting really like anxious or shy about it and so what I ended up doing is a friend of mine on the discord linked me this picture of this cute little shy squirrel so that's gonna be what's covering the face cam for this video <laughs> if it's a little weird or distracting let me know and I guess I can leave in the webcam next time but uh it's nothing nothing spectacular I usually just do I do it occasionally on uh twitch streams so wasn't planning on putting it on YouTube, and then all of a sudden, I was like, oh wait, there's no way to remove the webcam in this video. So, that was my bad. But I do think it's a cute picture, and I don't think it's too, unobtru too obtrusive. Um, however, or no, not however. <laughs> also, uh, at the beginning of this uh, video, it'll be me being like, oh no, I thought I messed up, because I thought I had re I thought I had overwritten my save file. Turns out I did not overwrite my save file, so that's good, uh, everything's fine. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, oh, also there are a couple times, we got a visit from one of the developers of this game, who goes by Two Flower, or Flower, on Twitch, uh, it's the only name I know them by, but they came in and were just hanging out with us for a while, so I did leave into conversations, little conversations we had with them, because it was really fun getting a little, like, backside, or, like, back, background insider info on a little bit of the game, so it was really neat, it was really nice to have a visit from them. So, uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video, and I'll be with you in a moment. No, level two, chasing ghosts. We're good. We're good. So it's supposed to start this way? Oh, okay. I th this, was, this was exactly how it started. Okay. This was exactly how it started, like, the other thing. So it was like, the fears, future, blah, 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 and I got really scared for a second. Okay. So far, apparently, things are pretty good. You've worked as a floor tenant at the Funplex for two weeks now. Hard work, to be sure, but rewarding. In a spiritual sense, at least. I've helped Naomi repair pinball games. I've had tea with Francine while she reminisced about the far-out 1960s. I've evacuated gamers when the kitchen accidentally caught on fire. I've had numerous kids puking up nachos on my clothes. I've scraped gum off any number of surfaces. I've chased what turned out to be entirely too many spiders out of a single skee-ball machine. Yucky. Um, okay, look, I know I'm not painting this as a very rosy picture so far, but honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy, even if it's the chaos and the grossness. I'm happy, and that's all that matters, right? Oh my gosh, Juniper's here! Right, you're happy. Ah, <laughs> uh, hang on, okay, what's her voice? This is the best I've seen you in ages, Ari! Before you come home all drained and exhausted, now, well, you're still tired, but a good tired! My roommate Juniper, she had taken to stopping by during her lunch break whenever she could get away from her office cubicle long enough to do so. It's still hard work, don't get me wrong. But overall, it's good work. I feel, I just feel good. Totally good and stuff. Yes. Good! Agreed! Super good! Double plus good! Iris, we talked about you listening in on my conversations. What did I tell you about that? To pretend I wasn't eavesdropping even when I am. Exactly. You know, I'd be more upset with my creepy privacy invading digital overmistress, but I have to admit that Iris really pulled through for me. Even if she also ordered a three-month supply of pizza bagels on my behalf. When you have pizza on <gasps> a bagel. When you have pizza on a bagel. So, Juniper, how long do you have on your break? Any time to squeeze in some pinball or something? I can spot you tokens. No can do. Our new assistant synergy manager arranged a team building exercise. I have to, like, move color bits of paper around or something and then exchange high fives. Assistant Synergy Manager? That sounds like a very vague job. Nah, it's actually more entry level. Good pay and right on the track to middle management. Pretty cushy, if a bit dull. Funny thing is that they asked me if I knew anybody who'd fit in before they started advertising for candidates, and I said, nope, who'd want to do that? <laughs> when was this exactly? Oh, two weeks ago. Yeah, I was gonna say, so two weeks ago, right when I needed to find work, you told them you didn't know any good candidates for a well-paying entry level job. <gasps> Uh, yeah. Juniper. Hmm. Juniper. My friend. Well, uh, but you wouldn't have liked being an assistant synergy manager. Juniper! Not one Juniper, bit. why? Juniper. 
Please tell me you told them no, because I'd already taken this job by that point. Not because you'd forgot. I mean, she's got my back in other ways, and she's been really supportive, but like... Yeah, it's a bit like... Mm. Hey, I didn't hey, forget. Yeah, well, uh, don't get mad at me! I just, you know, didn't bother telling you about the open position. Why?! It's like, if she wanted me to be happy and she didn't want me to take that job, it's one thing. But it seems like she actually forgot. Hey, look! It's it's the Pangy guy back there. I mean, you'd already had so many jobs you hated. I knew you'd hate I would hate being a synergy, synergy manager, manager. So, I didn't feel the need to tell you. And, it all worked out, right? You just spent the last five minutes telling me how happy you are here. Yeah. Not a lie. I was happy here indeed. Also not a lie. Having packed pizza bagels for lunch after having pizza bagels for breakfast because we barely had enough money to cover the rent this week pulled together. Also not a lie. Gavin constantly hiding the numbers from us, insisting we, things were all fine, all while dryly joking about perpetually being on the edge of crash and burn. So hiding the numbers is a bit... like, hmm... It's like... I don't know, maybe he doesn't want everybody to worry, but keeping things hidden tends to make people worried. And then, yeah, so I was like, what, what we're saying here is that her job, or the synergy manager job, would have been a very steady income if boring. However, we can't even afford food because we can barely afford rent, so we have to eat these, like, pizza things. Also not a lie, every time someone in my family tried to chase after happiness instead of stability, we fell deeper and deeper into debt and misery. Wow, this is like, is this like resonating on like a personal level for anybody else? Because it kind of is for me, like in my family, sort of, not like exactly, but like, I don't know. It's like, there's always those stories, it's like the American dream, right? Where it's like, you know, you chase your happiness, chase your dream, and you'll you'll achieve everything you've ever wanted, and financial stability, and, or, it's like, but it, those, I hate those love stories where it's like, love will see us through, I'm like, love isn't gonna pay the bills, you dick crap, but <laughs> like, it's not, like, it's just not, like, and then after a few years of being financially unstable, anybody, love fades, and then it's like, and then, like, you're financially unstable and you're only frustrated because you guys just don't know what to do and love is gone, basically. And then it's like, now we're debt. We're in debt and we hate each other. Like, I don't know. Right? It's unsettling, especially considering student loans, for sure. It's like, chase your dreams, get your student loans, and then you're $50,000 in debt, you know? With no real job prospects. Ooh. Ari, say something. You're scaring me. I shouldn't feel angry. She stood by me for years, supporting me, trying to do what's best by me, even if she wasn't always skilled at that sort of support. I shouldn't feel upset. I've been genuinely enjoying my time at the Funplex. It's restored my sense of hope that my days can be something to live through, not just endure. I have no right to be angry or upset at losing an opportunity at a safer and more stable future, right? Mmm... Something interesting. We have honest truth, lie to protect Juniper, and harsh truth. Um, I mean, for reals, it's okay. We may or may not be able to make it, but for now, things are okay. And we're where we want to be. So, yeah, I would say honest truth. Disney's wrong. They'll sue me. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> this is me hating living on Bon Jovi's legendary hit song, Living on a Prayer. Why can't prayers pay the bills, man? Ugh. I've been lied to my whole life. So I won't be angry or upset. Simple as that. I decided I was done compromising, right? Done with settling, going with the flow. I'm going to be the one to break the family curse. I have a feeling we're going to be involved with that, like, Dachau Palace or whatever. The, like, big arcade at some point. We're going to have to, like, take him down or something. Oh, I love that song. I love the, like, the, like, allure of, like, the American dream and all that. And the, like, you know, you'll get by just on, like, you know, hard work, love, and determination. It's like an anime. And then it's, like, real life sucks and it's not an anime. <laughs> I did choose this path of my own free will. I think that's important to remember. Like, if you choose a hard path and there are days where you're, like, I don't know if this was the right thing to do and maybe it wasn't blah 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 like I don't know if it would be helpful or not to say I chose this path of my own free will and I'm gonna see it through you know even if I didn't have all the facts at the time and maybe ooh, please don't yell everybody dogs there they go 
Uh, Two Flower, hi! Thank you so much for playing it. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. It's actually been way too real sometimes. Like, honestly, like, there's been situations where the dialogue has been stuff that's, like, really hit home. You guys have done a fantastic job. The art is great. The soundtrack is great. The characters are great. I'm really loving it. I'm going to be playing it through slowly, but, like, I really, really love it a lot. You guys have done a fantastic job. And, like, one of my friends on the stream has already bought it. Subby's already bought it. So, after I told her about it. So, yay! <laughs> you guys are great. It alternates, yeah, always between zany and too real. And it, like, I think it's gonna resonate with a lot of people who, like, it's like, we're chasing your dreams is scary. And, like, how falling into a rut and, like, how you feel like your family's, like, I don't know, like, lower middle class, like, you feel like you can never quite get there, and you gotta constantly compromise and stuff, but then you always hope, right, for that one chance, that one chance that something crazy will happen, and you'll have a chance at your dreams, so I'm really, really loving it. I'm really liking it. Okay, wait, if I'm gonna be honest, boundless confidence doesn't cover the simple fact that I chose to be vulnerable rather than safe. If the arcade closes, and if anything else goes wrong, still, no need to jump all dump all that on Juniper. It's okay, Juniper, you were right. I'd have hated that job, and things are great here. Oh, good. Oh, good, she didn't talk. You were kind of freaking me out. Trust me, it's the right decision. You'd learn to loathe working at my office. I just can't believe she works in an office that lets her dress like that. That's awesome. I'd love to work at that office. I mean, sure, the pay is good, <laughs> and you get solid health insurance, and paid vacation time, and they have a sweet coffee shop great. right in the lobby. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things, though, where, like, do you get a job that you don't like for the stability of it? Like, it's a legitimate concern that I actually have. Like, I actually have this concern where it's like, do I keep going in archaeology, which do I get no health benefits? I don't get paid vacation time. Like, I don't have anything in archaeology, even though it's something I love and I don't get paid a lot. Or do I, like, go to a different job? Like, do I go back to school and learn, like, programming or something, which would be cool, but something that I'm not necessarily as passionate about as I am about archaeology, but I'd probably get paid better. It's something I've actually been considering in real life. And these really great chairs that's like IKEA chairs. chairs. Like Thousand dollar chairs from Sweden crafted by Master. Chairsmith. I want to name Master Chairsmith. Oh. Oh, I miss. I'm sorry. Whatever, sub. I hope. I hope you're doing okay, subby. I missed it. Juniper, I said it's fine. Everything is fine. Honestly, I'm okay. I mean, I won't deny that job would have been a safer bet. I want to contribute my fair share to the apartment rent, you know. But what's done is done. I'd rather look. I'd rather look forward than back. Hey, hey. Uh, forget I said anything. Please forget I said anything. I'm sorry. I should have told you. I shouldn't have. Held oh, back. is the volume okay? Like, can you guys hear them talking? But I still oh wouldn't eye. have pushed you to take the job. It's totally horrible at my office. You'd have been miserable there. How can you be really? miserable, Juniper? You're like the happiest looking person. But oftentimes, the happiest looking people are the saddest ones. Juniper, it's cool. You're right. I would have hated it. <laughs> okay, okay, good. I've got a good feeling about all this. I think you're right where you need to be, even if I was uh, kind of dumb about getting you here. Isn't Ikea Swedish? It's like, oh yeah, thousand dollar chairs, but I, I guess I, Ikea is cheap, but it's still Swedish. Uh, I can feel the distant rumble of pizza bo a frozen box of pizza bagels taunting me from the recently repaired employee break room. Yeah, okay, and you have a good rest of the hours of your day, yeah? You bet. I'm okay with this. Everything is fine while well, everything's on fire. Everything is fine! Right? Right. What I need right now is a distraction, and frozen pizza bagels are most certainly not it. My pocket money is really slim, but I think I need to step out for some fresh air and treat myself to better lunch than that. And hey, maybe some company too. <laughs> some company? Nice and distracting, talking to somebody about anything other than this. Let's see, who's available? <sighs> Percy's taking a break from his score chasing, Queen Bee's between matches, Tails shaking it on solo time, Ashley's not on mascot duty today. Okay, so Naomi's not, Naomi's not available. Um, I wanna talk to Percy or Ashley. Percy or Ashley? Ashley or Queen Bee? Percy? <gasps> Two Flower wants us to romance, or wants us to talk to Percy. 
Uh, I'm gonna, let's go chat, let's have a chat with Percy. I'm a little bit, he's cute. He's really cute. He's cute. I know Percy is cool with people interrupting his moopy mania, but I still prefer to wait until he's taking a break between rounds. Looks like good timing for lunch. Oh, look how handsome he is. Percy's flipping through the messages on his phone in a highly bored manner when I walk up to him. Hey, Percy, how's Moopy today? Hmm. Oh, also his accent's easier to do. Oh, pretty bad performance. Oh, no, that's right. He sounds Australian, not British. Overall, I haven't, ha haven't even cleared a million for the day, and a few of my stock picks are down. Bad luck overall. <laughs> but on the whole, can't complain. Every day is a gift. So, do you need something, Ari? To be honest, if I don't get out of here and get my mind off of things, I'm gonna melt down. I just, like, blurt that out. I need to get out of here or I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I was thinking lunch. You had lunch yet? I need lunch. Let's go. <laughs> don't you usually have those little pizzas? Also, this is a better idea because he might get, he might buy us food. You noticed, huh? But also, he might buy us some nice food. Let's hope he buys us nice food. I subsisted on peanut butter sandwiches for a time. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Ari. Life has ups and downs. Indeed. But seeing as you're looking to avoid the downs at the moment, by all means, let's go fetch some lunch. If I may suggest our destination. No, you may not, unless you're paying. You haven't been to the whole store yet, have you? The donut shop? Donut shop and used bookstore. They have pastries and sandwiches and the like. It's a charming little cafe at heart. If you'd be kind enough to accompany me, unless you'd rather have little pizzas. Donuts and books. Oh, winning combination. Oh my gosh, yeah. Also, if they have little sandwiches, that'd be nice. Much then let's just be off. Despite coming to this little strip mall for two weeks, I haven't actually visited our neighbors. Mostly did whatever needed doing. Took orders from Gavin, lent a hand to Ashley and Naomi, things like that. Whatever the job happened to call for. No more, no less. These are not for you, doggy. I couldn't say I'd been a part of any community outside the immediate circle of my coworkers. Whereas the others visited Whole Story quite frequently. Percy leads the way into a shop that smells strangely of dusty old books and sugary sweetness. Like, this is this was actually one of my dream jobs for a long time, was, like, somehow opening a bookstore that had, like, a bakery in it. I'd still love to do that. Like, I'd love to get, like, a bookstore slash, like, tabletop gaming store type thing. It'd be really awesome. With, like, a little, with, like, a little bakery in it. It'd be so good. I don't think I've ever been in an, a little independent bookstore. Or a bookstore at all, for that matter. It's 20, oh, that's right, it's 2000 whatever. We still have bookstores. Who buys books in a brick-and-mortar store anymore? That is actually why I go to my brick-and-mortar local tabletop gaming store to get my stuff. Unless it's like, there's a, there's a, there's an online, like, sort of an Etsy place that I buy a lot of dice from. But, um, but yeah. I try to keep, I try to support the local brick-and-mortar stores because I like them. But despite the subdued atmosphere compared to the arcade, there are customers present and accounted for. Sipping coffee, reading old tomes, and yes, munching on donuts. Supporting local business. I know I try really hard like I've actually really cut back on my Amazon purchases And I, I did a lot of my Christmas shopping at that like table stuff. I have those like two tabletop stores close by There aren't really any used bookstores. Unfortunately, they all got chased out of town here So you have to like go like an hour away to get in to get any used bookstores But I do try to visit them on occasion Percy secures a tiny table for us before directing me to the bar. Hang on. What the heck is up with this menu? It's or organized by the Dewey Decimal System! Oh my gosh! I'll have a Douglas Adams, don't worry, they know my order and it's my treat! Yes! <laughs> I mumble out of things, trying not to make a big deal out of it. In real life, I'd be like, very adamant that I had to pay for it because I would hate to appear like I was asking a rich guy for to go to lunch with me so he'd pay, right? Like, I would be really subconscious of that. I would definitely pay for myself. But in the video game, it's nice. Cash is tight, and a boutique cafe pastry wouldn't help my situation much. Oh, howdy! Are you? Oh, I, get, I assume they're the owners. A pair of middle-aged guys wait to take my oh, my order. Hey, I'd like. Uh, also, the like naming system is hilarious. Dewey Decimal System. That's so funny. One super duper sweet glazed chocolate sprinkle special sprinkle. Bleh. Um, let's actually let's do the surprise. Surprise me. Let's uh let's do a surprise. A little shop fifteen minutes away. It has second hand books and vinyl records! So be, see, and that's what I loved about being in Europe, is like everywhere I went there was like a little used bookstore, like a vinyls, there was all kinds of little kitschy stores, you know, like kitschy, kitschy, I don't know how to say that for exactly. But I loved it. We don't really have that in America. It sucks. Uh, let, let's do the surprise.
Hey, what's good? What's your favorite order from the menu? One Terry Pratchett <laughs> coming up. A jam pastry with clutchy and coffee. <laughs> Dad, Terry Pratchett! The second fellow puts together my order and also drops a small paper back onto the tray, featuring a many-legged wooden travel trunk on the cover. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! They give you, like, a Terry Pratchett book with your Terry Pratchett donut? With alliteration, Oh my apparently. gosh. Say, you work at the Funplex, don't I'm you? I'm sorry, I haven't been right. in here. We've seen you walk past our doors every morning Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice! Like clockwork, tick-tock. Right, sorry, I should have introduced myself. Floor attendant, Eric Cater, at your service. I picked Flower, I just, I just picked one of the general names. I thought it was funny. Um... I'm your inside gal for tokens and tickets. Oh, we are lousy at video games. Totally lousy. But Francine's just a peach, isn't she? Sweetest dame you'll <laughs> ever meet. Regardless, welcome to the whole story. I'm Ben. I'm Matt. No <laughs> relation to the actors. <laughs> Although they're cuties and so are we. Oh, stop. Stop being cute. Oh my no. god! Oh, they're cuties and so are we. Oh, stop. Apparently the sugar is available in forms other than round and holy. Anyway, don't let us stop you from having fun <gasps> on your little date. Wouldn't not a date! Oh no! It's not a date. Just friends then? Friendly oh, friends? Oh, the <laughs> Maybe the real date was the friends <laughs> along the way. Oh my gosh! I'd say the real friends were the friends. <laughs> we made no, along no, the way. no! What if the way was also the real friends who were the real the friends way. We along the way? <laughs> okay, now you're just being silly. And oh how? my gosh! Anyway, hey, anyway. Hey. next order, please. <laughs> Those guys are awesome. The pair waves the next customer in as I return to Percy's table with our orders on a nicely decorated wooden tray. Ha, huh, I'd have warned you, but honestly, Ben and Matt are best experienced without spoilers. They invited me to their wedding, you know. I was new in town back then, but, well, they're kind-hearted, to say the least. Percy opens the Douglas Adams book they gave him with his biscuits, but only peruses it lightly out of politeness to the book lenders. Soon we've devoured our food. It's probably not a very nourishing lunch, all told, but the sweet treat does wonders for my mood. Except Percy definitely picks up on something being a little off. Penny, for your thoughts? It's complicated. Penny, for my thoughts, then. No need to share yours if you're in no mood. Hmm, okay. Seriously, what's why Mr. Moopy's magic maze? Why not? Because there's easier high scores out there to knock over. I looked it up on Twin Galaxies last night. That score stood for 30 years. And that's the challenge, isn't it? But I suppose it's not entirely the challenge that appeals to me. It's, well, how to put this? It's personal. If you don't want to talk about it, I suppose I've teased it enough. We may not know each other well enough to be besties, yes? Okay. <laughs> but it's a tale worth telling. Put simply, Moopy is... I knew it. It was my I little knew sister's it. favorite game. Dear little Stella, my sister was a child prodigy. Leap ahead of the curve in every respect. Sharpest mind, cleverest wit, the warmest heart. Mm -hmm. And mazes. Oh, how she loved mazes. She had a gift for pattern recognition and optimization, a gift and a passion. It thrilled her to no end to take on a mental challenge and defeat it soundly. We got her books and books filled with mazes and puzzles, and she'd clear one of them every day. Always wanted more to fear her dreary hours, but only so many mazes. To solve the problem, I got her a handheld game console and a copy of Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze. Honestly, at the time, I knew next to nothing of video games. A friend of mine in arithmetic class suggested it. It took every scrap of pocket change I could muster, buying that game for her. My family had next to no money, you see, a nobody family in a nothing village. Well, I suppose you can relate, yes? I can relate, yes. <laughs> uh, he noticed the pizza beggars. Um... You took an accent- you took an accent course? You can take an accent course, that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, man. Mm. You- yeah, well, you noticed the pizza bagels, huh? I guess my rather craptastic diet has made my economic situation obvious, huh? Oh, nice! Chin up now, your heart's still beating, yes? That is that going for you? Yeah, okay, I'm still alive. If I could pull myself up, I have no doubt you can do the same. It's completely di Oh my gosh! The fact that I'm hearing this from a white guy is really sort of frustrating. <laughs> uh, if I can do it, you can do it too. 
through the other half of the American dream. Ah. <sighs> So the game helped feed my sister's need for greater and greater challenges. That's the key to Mr. Mufi. You see, it generates pseudo-random mazes. Pseudo as opposed to, well, it's early 1980 technology. Depending on your path through the mazes, you can precede the randomness. It's part of the challenge playing the game of the game. That's cool. Depending on your path. Okay, you can kind of pick how, how the cards fall. Interesting. And Stella could play the game, play, play the game of the game like no other and better than I could even. And she'd no doubt have beaten the high score by now, her name up in lights, as the champion to unseat a 30-year legacy. And that's why I'm a maniac for Mr. Mufi. I wait for him to continue, but nope, that's it. His sister is dead. I am sad. I think I understand, though. Mm, Stella can't take the score herself. Not anymore. I keep using the past tense when describing your sister. I'm sorry for your loss, Percy. I'm sure she was every bit as bright and clever and warm as you described. I wish I could have met her. Okay, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was, like, over-assuming that she's dead. Thank you, Ari. Her losses, it certainly left a hole in the world. When she passed a few years ago, all her potential, all her brilliance, gone. Percy sighs deeply, letting the memory wash over him and pass. If not for the heart condition, despite everything we tried, everything I did, in the end, it was. And if she was much. in the American healthcare system, then they probably just kind of left her to die because she couldn't afford it. <laughs> and now, Mr. Moopy's my connection to Stella. She dreamed of beating it, but the little handheld version she had wasn't quite the equal of the original. So, one day, I'm going to take down the score, and I'm going to do it in Perfect. her name. I'll put her initials at the top of that scoreboard. Oh, sis. I Cute. S. 3.5 million points by Percival James Sinclair. Earned in honor of Stella Isabel That's adorable. Sinclair. I know that on that day, somewhere, she'll be smiling at me and saying, good show, Percy. Oh my good gosh, show. I'm going to cry. Despite the sadness of the story, I can't help but smile at the ending. Well, on the day you beat the score for her, floor tenant Ari will be there to cheer you on. Thank you, love. It's appreciated. I know people just say love because they, cause that's just colloquial, but it's like, oh, my God, hurt me. Beep, beep. Lunch break's over, darn it. Back to the grindstone, eh? The arcade's not that grindy. Hey, video game terminology. Hmm, hmm, curious. Hmm. Well, if you'll pardon the obtuse observation, you do seem to be going through the motions. Hmm, no, I'm not. I'm having a blast there. By doing what needs doing, yes? Excuse me. Of course. I'm a diligent employee. I suppose it's a question of ambition, but it's not my place to judge. And you've work to do, yes? What? Why are you making that face at me? I'm not ambitious. So? Who cares? It's an American trying to do an English accent if he's saying love. Really? It's that? You guys don't say that? Can't afford your insulin? Guess you'll just die. Yeah. Can't afford to have cancer? Guess you'll die. That's, uh... Yeah. That's how it goes. Go on, go on. I'll return the trays and all books. And all books. Blah, blah, blah. Can't say I get what he meant by that. What does he want me to do? Like, take over Gavin's spot? But he's right about one thing. There's work to do. I take my leave and return to the funplex. 